I have tried to do videoing so many times and always give up because I just find it a little bit strange sat here talking to myself. Um, don't particularly like the look of myself uh, and so I'm, I'm looking at myself as I'm speaking. Trying to envision that I'm looking at my friend but it's not working. Perhaps I need a picture of her or something um, so as if I'm just having a casual chat. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing this so um, I can just chat to you about crochet and spinning. I like spinning and just general chit chat really. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Netmother Bear. I've also got a Ravelry site, Netmother Bear, where I sell my patterns, uh, crochet patterns, and I'm on Etsy, Facebook. And I've got a Facebook maker group, Netties Makers Get Knotted. So, yeah, I'm on social media all over the place. Um, what can I say? I'll start off by, I'll start off by showing you my spinning wheel, shall I? So, if you can see, this is my spinning wheel behind me here. And now I think my daughter's going to walk in the room. No, I'm not going to listen to me. So this is my spinning wheel. Um, I don't really know what got me into spinning, really. A few years ago, well, about 10 years ago, I'd say, my friend who's got, who I'm pretending I'm talking to, but she's not here. Uh, about 10 years ago, she's got quite a lot of land um, and she was going to buy sheep. And she went to this open day. I don't know. They went away for the weekend and she stopped at this place that um, they got spinning and they got sheep and they, they produced all their own wool. And, and I remember her telling me she was going to buy these sheep and she was going to spin and weave. And I thought, what on earth? Who, who would want to do that? Surely we don't do that these days. They have machines for this kind of thing, don't they? You know, all the yarn that I buy is made in factories or on a machine. I don't know. I just thought, how bizarre. What a strange thing to want to do. So skip forward a few years to not last year, the year before I went to my first yarn festival at Bakewell. Um, yeah, lovely. It was, it was amazing. It was like full of, wow, all this yarn, but it was, it was kind of like based on, um, or heavily le leading towards spinning because they had all this, um, you know, they've got like different walls, they've got roving tops. I've never heard of any of this stuff before. So I came away from there laden down with um, bats. That's another one. Still don't know exactly what they are, but um, yeah. So I came home laden with a few bats and uh, a drop spindle. So I got quite into this drop spindle, but I thought I'm never going to be able to make anything like a jumper. I had visions of like designing a pattern and and then producing the yarn and selling it as a kit on Etsy. That was my, <laughs> that was my idea. And then when I got back home and started like doing this drop spindle, I realised that yeah, this is going to take me a long, long time. I'd probably get enough for a pair of socks or a hat, or no way would I spin enough for a shawl. So then I thought about a spinning wheel. Um, so I had no idea again what I was buying, and I looked on different sites, and then I went on eBay. Uh, saw this spinning wheel that looked okay, fairly local. Uh, begged Steve to buy it me as a Christmas present, which he did. So my friend went and collected it for me, and uh, yeah, this is it. So it's a. Oh, do you know I forgot Ash? Is it Ashford? Ashford, isn't it? Oh my God, I think it's nerves. You know, I'm really nervous. It's Ashford, the big spinning people. If anyone who spins, they'll know, they'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, <laughs> I found out afterwards, after oh, I nearly threw it through the window, it wasn't threaded upright. Um, the band, which actually isn't attached at the minute, the band was broken. Oh, it was just a nightmare and I hadn't got a clue what I was doing. So I fiddled around with it. This was uh, not last Christmas, the Christmas before. So... Steve bought it me for Christmas and then I fiddled around with it for ages and I hadn't really got time. Then we went into lockdown, didn't we? So I, I'd got plans of going and having lessons and being taught how to, you know, use this thing and it never happened. Before that, previous to that, I'd been to another yarn festival in Nottingham 
and I've met a lovely lady there from Cotswold Alpacas and she um, was showing me her spinning, amazing. She was spinning raw alpaca straight out of a bag. She got this big bag of um, raw alpaca and she was just spinning away with it. Oh, I knew she was going to come in. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's actually filming me. Go away. I should put you on here with you, your dressing gown and you go away. Seriously. I've lost my thread. Yes, lovely lady, Cotswold Alpacas. I've forgotten her name, some terrible names. So she was sat with this big bag of um, alpaca, raw alpaca, spinning straight from the bag. I'm actually sweating. Um, yeah, and I was just fascinated. So I thought, I think I'd got, I had got my wheel at that point. Yes, I've got my wheel because I said to her I couldn't get it working. I've got a clue what I was doing. And she said to me, bring it over um, and she would help me with it. So I ended up buying some alpaca, raw alpaca from her, about 100 grams I think I bought from her um, and a few other bits and bobs from this fair and home I went. Then we went into lockdown and the rest is history, isn't it? Because we haven't been able to go anywhere, haven't been able to do anything. I've watched endless YouTube videos and just got absolutely nowhere with it. So in January this year i decided one sunday morning i got up and i thought sod this i'm gonna try and use this uh spinning wheel if i can't do it it's going back on ebay because i'm sick of the sight of it it's just sat in the corner of my lounge it's driving me mad that i can't do it so all day i was struggling about with this thing and then steve came downstairs into the kitchen and i'm like that that spinning wheel's going on ebay i can't cope i can't figure it out i'll give up that's it done and he was like oh no don't be hasty i said i'm telling you, I, I really am so half an hour later I went back into the room and I had another go and all of a sudden it was like a light bulb moment and I spun I can't believe it I actually managed to spin um oh I've mended it as well at this point as you probably gather I'd bought um I don't know all bits and pieces to oil it because it's squeaked and a new band and I think I kind of know what I'm doing with it now so yeah so that's my spinning wheel story and I'm quite enjoying it I've got quite a lot going on so I'll show you first of all what I have spun with it so this was this is my first one i ever did i don't think not too bad not too shabby is it really for first attempt and i've left the label on of the actual um fiber should we call it fiber because i don't know whether you're supposed to call it roving or tops or whatever so this is called traces of dusk it's 98 percent corridale corridale two percent angora traces of angelina 100 gram there isn't 100 gram here because i ruined that much of it but what i find with real sheep's wool is it's so itchy i'm not i don't think i'm ever going to be able to wear that next to my skin but hey there you go that can you see that and actually my consistency oh it's rather thick but can you see i don't know whether you can see that so that's my, that's my one first attempt. These are all single ply because I didn't know anything about plying either at this stage. This was another one. This was some art fiber, fiber excuse my groovy, groovy wool colour. Oh, I have to show you my niddy noddy as well, actually. My son made me a niddy noddy. Um, it's quite cool. So I'll just get my nitty noddy and show you that he made me. Ah. Right, I think it fell over. This is my nitty noddy, isn't this cute? Well, actually, it's not cute, it's huge, it's quite bulky. But I sent him a picture and uh, yeah, this is what he made me. So that's my homemade nitty noddy. Weighs a ton, but it does the job. So yeah, that was the other one I did. That was just a little bit of art fibre. No idea what art fibre is. Bits and pieces, apparently. Uh, what else have we got? That was another one. Again, itchy. It's Yeah, I think it's got some bamboo in it. But really itchy. Never wear that. What was this one? Oh, this was a blend now. This is another thing. This is blending. So I thought I would blend different yarns together. So fibres, sorry, fibres together. So I used uh, my combs. I've got some combs and I made some Rolags. 
I know what row lags are. So I made some row lags and yeah, blended all these fibres together. But again, it's really itchy. I don't know, actually, this one isn't too bad. But there is very wool smell. I love the smell of wool. So that's that. But yeah, still not quite it's the itch factor. And yeah, this one's quite lumpy bumpy as well. Consistency isn't brilliant. So I abandoned that. So I've only got one of those. Um, this one's not bad. These are all I've done, by the way. I haven't done any more. This was from the Newstead Peacocks. She was at Nottingham when I went to Nottingham. The new, oh, maybe the Newstead Peacocks is the yarn. Velvet Sixpence. Anyway, it's BFL. 50% BFL, which is Blue Face Leicester. Blue Face Leicester. 25% Corridale and 25% Mulberry Silk. But again, it's itchy. Never mind. It's nice. I did manage to get all of that. I can't, oh, 188 metres I've got there. I measured it. I'm trying to get professional and measure everything. And weigh things and get organised. Not professional, organised is the word because I'm not very organised. Um, and this was another one from the Velvet Sixpence as well. Now, both of these two are the same blend. Um, I bought a green and a cream and I thought I'd do a shawl. I got two... Did I buy 200 gram of green or no, just 100 gram of green? I bought the green, lovely green color. But I, I, because of the itchiness in this one, I thought I'll blend the green. So I blended it with some bamboo that I bought. Um, no, I didn't blend it. No, I spun the green the same as I spun this one into kind of like as thin as I could get it into a consistency. Let me show you this. And the consistency is not too bad, is it? Needs improvement, but yeah, so I spun the green and then I spun some bamboo and then I plied them. <laughs> get me. I ain't got a clue what plying was either. And and when you look at like four ply, three ply in ordinary yarn, it's not the same when you're spinning, which confuses me even more. So I don't know. I, 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 I've done a two ply. I'll take this one out. This is... So that is my two ply. So that is bamboo spun with, plied together with my green mixture. Still got that element of wool smell which is lovely. I was pleased with that. And <clears throat> did I say I was organised? I haven't actually measured the, these. <laughs> so I've no clue how much I've got there. I thought I'd measured them and written on the band. No. Nope. So that is some of my spinning so far. I think I'm improving. I'll show you this one. Oh yeah, I'll show you actually, I'll show you that lady, Cotswold Alpacas at Nottingham when I went there. This is what she sold me. And she said you can spin it raw. I mean, I've Googled it and a lot of people spin alpaca raw. But I washed mine. So I won't show you all of it. But look at that, it's so nice. It's so lush. It smells lovely and I haven't felted it and it was so easy to wash it's still got some little bits and pieces in it let me say that but I'm, i need to card it so this has literally just been washed um, i need to card it and then play with that i love that so that inspired me to buy uh, a hundred gram no a kilogram i'm very i'm terrible with weights do my nursing as well and I've really got to get my milligrams and micrograms and yeah my grams not mixed up otherwise yeah we won't talk about the catastrophic events if because yeah medication and all that anyway um so yes I, on eBay I bought um a kilogram it still doesn't sound right yeah a kilogram a kilogram of 
I found out that top, top of an alpaca, which is the blankies apparently. So if you see alpaca top, that's the best bit for spinners. Apparently the legs and the neck are more for um, felting and weaving. But for, if you want to spin alpaca, then you need the top, the blanket. So I bought a kilogram off this lady on eBay. Um, off an alpaca called Summer. It came. I thought this is this is easy. I'll wash it. I'll wash it all in one go. I thought. I thought I'd broke my boiler in my bathroom. Honestly, it took me four hours. My knees. <laughs> it took me a week for my knee to come back to normal. I, I had to, I had to have a steroid injection in my knee this year. I thought I'd buggered it up. Honestly, my knee was killing me from kneeling on my bathroom floor. Um, and the sand. There didn't seem to be that much sand in my other one. I don't know what the difference was, but this was full of sand. Honestly. <laughs> Not only did I think I broke my boiler, I thought I'd clog my bath up. So, but I managed it anyway. And so this is, see, I still haven't carded it. And I mean, some of it's lovely. Can you see that? But then, see that's, I think when it's carded. But then <clears throat> after about four hours, I was getting a little bit bored. My knee was killing me. I, I had transferred to a pillow off my bed I was kneeling on that but I'd really had enough my hands this felt like skin was coming off my hands so I did get a bit bored and I rushed it and I felted quite a bit of it um so yeah I'm not sure whether that will actually card out or whether I can stick it outside for the birds I did put some out for the birds actually it's disappeared whether they've taken it or whether it's blown away I'm not sure so anyway that's my kilogram oops of raw alpaca I want to blend that with this. <coughs> this is sorry silk. Look at this. That's the right one, yeah. It's heaven, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I want to blend the two together. That's my aim. I make a jumper. <laughs> okay. I'm not actually knit or crochet or anything with any of these yet. Oh. I'm sat on a stool which I bought off eBay. Again, I love eBay. I'm sat on I'm sat on a spinning stool because last week when I was spinning, um, I ended up with horrendous back pain. My arm ached, my shoulder, my neck, and I was sat on the settee trying to do it. I propped myself all up with pillows, but yeah, I had to have a rest for for about three days. I could hardly bloody walk. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. Um, so yeah, I bought this spinning stool which I'm sat on, but it's a little bit precarious. I've only had it two days. I've not actually spun with it yet. I thought I'll sit on this. I'll do my video with my spinning wheel behind me. Um, and I'll keep toppling off it. I'm not going to show it you because I've actually got jama bottoms on. So if I stand up, you'll see my jama bottoms. I thought I'll be all, you know, anyway. So, oh yes. So little summer, the alpaca has sent me some more. So I've got another kilogram to tackle here. Um, so yeah, it's arrived. I'm quite scared to open it actually. It... Yeah, it smells of animal. So that, I mean, it doesn't that look that bad when you just see it. It's so dusty. Cannot believe how dusty it is. But yes, thank you, Summer Alpaca. I'm quite excited to tackle that one. And then I've got some from the lovely lady at Coxwell's Old Packers. She has done this for me. It's already washed, already carded. But there still is an element of like, like a greasy feeling. It's so it's a strange in this. And I'm struggling to spin it. I don't know whether alpaca is difficult to spin. Because this is my first time, I haven't spun any of those, you say, that I've washed myself. So I'm not sure whether it's, whether she's left some of the, but they say they're not greasy alpacas and they don't have lanolin in, so I, I don't know. I mean, it's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it doesn't leave it on your hands. It just feels a little bit tacky. I can't make my mind up. And I did, I did struggle to spin, but I say I'm new at spinning anyway, so who knows. So there's, it didn't come off him, I don't think. She's put, here is your dark grey tops. I do hope you enjoy spinning them. Here is a photo. Oh, this is Solitaire. Here is a photo of Solitaire, one of our female alpacas. I hope she makes you smile in such strange days. Take care. Bridget. It's Bridget from Cotswold Alpacas. 
and they're lovely little note and I hope one day to go in the motorhome and visit her, drag Steve along for the day if ever we get back to normal. So she sent me that last year in lockdown and I am blending it with again some sorry silk in rainbow colours but more blues this time. It's a little bit darker than I usually go for when I'm choosing my yarns but I'm going with it. I'm trying to find the end now. Ah, is that the end? Yeah. So you can see it's a little bit, that, this is the ending little bit, it's a bit slubby here. Slubby, is that, is that the right word for spinning? I think I'm not careful it's going to end up coming apart. Um, oops, too high. Can you see that? consistency is quite good in places and then in other places it's awful but I have been assured by this lady on YouTube can't remember her name either really but she's a bit of a spinning guru that when you ply together your inconsistency kind of gets hidden don't know how true that is I'm trying to pull hairs out I can't decide whether the Dalmatian hairs or whether it's hairs off there so that's that so I've only done one so far I'm splitting it splitting this into 50 gram pieces <coughs> amounts so 50 gram in total and blending it together and, and then I want to two ply and I want to make a jumper crochet a jumper or a cardigan we'll see you may um find out if I do any more of these videos or anyone who knows me that I do have a tendency to um never finish anything I start things lots and lots of things and don't finish them but hey ho so that's spinning that's enough on spinning isn't it I'll show you what I've bought recently I bought some Debbie Bliss I feel like I've got hair on my face now is it that, is it that alpaca? whoops so I bought some Debbie Bliss That's nice, that's lovely and soft. That's my yarny. Started making something here, look, doing the rib. I wanted to do like a chunk, chunky high neck jumper, but I kind of abandoned it. <coughs> Spinning took over. And oh, I bought a book, I've definitely got I'll pack up my nose. Whew. Bought this book. Amazon. I love Amazon as well. Crochet Every Way Stitch Dictionary. I've not actually looked through it yet. Um, it's got 125 essential, essential stitches to crochet in three ways. And apparently she does. Um, so she'll say, oh, all about shaping. So she'll show you like how to shape things and how to size or and how to increase and decrease that because I do struggle sometimes with see all the increasing I struggle sometimes when I'm not doing basic stitches to, to you know to increase and decrease I do struggle oh, that's pretty isn't it what's that overlapping bees Ooh. so this should keep me busy sprouts <laughs> Who doesn't love sprouts? Let's see. So I thought this was quite useful, although I've been crocheting for quite a while. Constantly learning, aren't you? Pump posts. Crossed cable. So I've never done cabling in crochet. I don't really know how to do it. I, I crocheted years and years ago. I've always been a knitter, you see. Always been a knitter since um it's one of these weird children at school who used to knit like, i shouldn't say that because they're not weird children but other people think you're weird my husband thinks i'm weird but yeah i don't think they're weird children i, I encourage knitting <laughs> i'm not going to cut that out because i'm sure you all understand that i didn't mean that in any derogatory way um so yeah i've always been a knitter and 
I had a hysterectomy, oh, I crocheted years ago. I used to make like loads of little like, do they call them doilies, coasters, all these tiny, teeny, tiny little um, flowers in a real cotton thread. And I did loads of those for my mom. I don't know, I'm old, a bit 10, 11, 12, something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I made loads of those. She still got them around and dotted around the house. She always puts them the wrong way around. When I go around, I flip them back over. I'm like, you've got this upside down, mom. Anyway, so that was my crochet. And then I made a few objects. I think I remember crocheting this big purple jumper and it was always like to fit an elephant. It was way too big. Beautiful yarn, but so that went by the wayside. And then I did something white. I remember that was all fancy and lacy. Again, far too big. I never wore any of these things. Um, so I abandoned crochet and carried on with my knitting and I knit for years and years and years. And then I had a hysterectomy in April 2014. No, 2018. And oh God, I had to rest, which I can't do. I have to be on the go all the time. Sitting here now, I'm looking, I'm thinking, blind, I've been sat here for 26 minutes and I've not moved yet. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit itchy. But um yeah so i had to rest and it drove me insane and i can't explain to someone what it's like not to be able to walk i couldn't walk i literally lost the ability i remember shuffling about it was so strange because i wasn't feeling actual pain i just couldn't move all my insides were just i don't know <laughs> anyway and i was so bored and it was hot and i got no company and i was proper fed up and I stumbled upon, um, again, what was the lady's name? Not Yourself Out on Not Yourself Out, K-N-O-T, on Instagram. She does some lovely um, ponchos and things. But anyway, she did this bag pattern, which was quite adventurous, considering I hadn't picked up a crochet hook in absolute years. I had to order crochet hooks. I hadn't got any. So I, I, ordered, I used some old cotton yarn that I got that I'd made, tried to make a jumper and failed and abandoned, as I do. Um, nice cotton yarn. I think it was a rowan. Anyway, and ordered some crochet hooks and I made these squares and I made a lovely bag. It's gorgeous. And my friend, I gave it my friend Corrie uh, last year, actually. So I hope she uses it. I hope she's not like thinking, you know, when someone gives you something and you don't really want it, <laughs> but you like infuse about it. Because I really did love that bag and I should be gutted if she doesn't like it. I lined it in a lovely blue fabric with birds on it. It was dead cute. I'd like to make another one. I'm not going to put that on my to-do list. But yeah, I gave it my friend. I was feeling generous and I thought I'd let her have it. So Corrie, if you're watching this, I hope you use it. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, so knock yourself out. So I made this bag and I crocheted this bag. And from then on in, I've been absolutely hooked. Excuse the pun, but yeah, I've been hooked on crochet. I just don't want to knit anymore. In fact, I have got a knitting project on the go since 2009 and I've picked that up endless times over the last few years and I've given up with it now. It's gone up the loft. I'm I don't, never going to finish it. I do kind of get the, the bug sometimes to knit. Um, in fact, I bought that uh, in January <laughs> in the Oaks. I thought, I fancy a bit of knitting. That's as far as I've got. I did get the other one as well. What is it? Frost, I think it's called. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I bought, oh no, form. I love Kim Hargreaves. Oh. <gasps> She's just like my knitting guru, even though I don't actually knit anymore, but I'd love to. I want to make that on the front, actually. Oh, I'm here again, aren't I? If I could tell you how many things I want to knit, or not knit, I want to make. It's madness, it really is. I've tried this year alone, I've tried different projects of calligraphy that was doing that. No, it was last year actually because I made some Christmas cards and bits and pieces. Yeah, I'll start things and I'll go all out and then don't finish them or don't carry on with it. But yeah, I do. I am sticking with crochet. And, um, it's been a few years now and I'm sticking with spinning, I think. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And, you know, I may, I may start a knitting project. I may. Something to pick up and put down. So my work in progress, as I said, I've got a few patterns now. Have I just flipped the camera? Anyway, um, 
yeah i've got a few designs that i've done i was going to show you my coastal cardigan that's my latest tunisian crochet have you tried cro tunisian crochet oh my yeah i love it i love tunisian crochet but again i'm not very good at um increasing and decreasing but i did manage i made this cardigan um designed this cardigan a hoodie cardigan i love it it's in my car because i wear it all the time but i was going to show you that today and i haven't i'll have to show you another time if ever i do another video or if anyone ever wants to watch my video so i haven't got any tunisian crochet to show you what else did i do tunisian i don't think i've actually finished anything else no mean feet really starting i would not done tunisian before and i started this cardigan and yeah, i'm quite proud of myself because it, it has it's turned out lovely i've sold a few patterns so thank you if you bought one appreciate it um so this is my mosaic pattern for a bookmark i did this for mother's day it's a free pattern just as a little um if you've never done mosaic crochet before it's quite intriguing i've tried again i've tried to do mosaic crochet a few times and, and never um never managed it i've got in a right mess with it and then i watched a video uh tina somebody i don't know where she's from some country quite popular lady she's very nice um and i watched a few of her videos and i cracked it so i um i started a blanket of course i can't just do things by half so i have to do a blanket and I didn't like it, so that's gone up the loft. It was okay, there was nothing wrong with it. It just, just, I just didn't like it, so I didn't finish it. Um, so I've got plans to do something else in mosaic crochet. Um, yeah, so I did this for Mother's Day. It's just a little free pattern. It's on Ravelry and Lovecrafts. Did I say I'm on Lovecrafts? It's on Ravelry and Lovecrafts, and it's on my blog. Didn't tell you I've got a blog either, did I? Um, yeah. Netmother Bear. So that's my blog. No, oh, that's my bookmark. So if you fancy giving it a go, uh, yeah, it's in. I think it's in. Yes, yeah, in my Facebook group as well. But I haven't got many members in my Facebook group. No one loves me. I want some more members. I want people to chat with, and no one wants to chat crochet with me don't know where you all are no to be fair i do get um quite a lot of people chatting with me on instagram i just thought i'd set up a facebook group and see if i could get anyone to jump in there and but uh, i've got a few <laughs> mainly i think it's my friends that feel sorry for me and they've kind of like accepted my invite and but they're not really interested in crochet so a bit of a fail but never mind um so that's my mosaic crochet I'm doing this as well at the moment. I'm a huge fan of Sheepy's yarn. I love Sheepy's yarn. Oh, I did my star blanket in Sheepy's Callista. I love lay of cotton. Sorry, I've got hair or something. So this jumper I started to make, which is the one I started first. This one, yeah. So seed stitch have you ever done that it's very similar it's that's the back very similar to puff stitch but i made yeah I thought, i'll do a jumper in seed stitch and you know just a different summary stick on if it's a bit cold walking on the beach but can you see how it's i'm not increasing there not increasing at all but it's just getting wider and wider and wider i'm like what the so, so I've had to kind of like, and also I was running out of wool. I, I figured out I wouldn't, no, I wasn't running out, but I figured out I wouldn't have enough of the silver, I think, at the bottom. But yeah, what, what on earth? So I started again. I ordered to, to some different colours because I thought, I don't want to battle with this and then run out of blinking yarn. Can you imagine? So I gave up with that one. Then I did another one. And I did, I did quite a lot of it again. And I forgot to show, I only did it last night. So I've only got this, but it's not coming up big enough now. Managed to get it straight. My hair is everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's, 
so I undid it all last night. So third attempt. So that's coming, that's better, isn't it? But you have to be so careful not to, I don't know what, what happens, but it just seems to, if you're not careful, it gets, I mean, you can see it's got a tad, can't probably see, but it's a tad wider. Yeah, it gets wider and wider and wider. You're not increasing, you're not adding any stitches. I start off with 59 stitches and it's like, it's just getting wider. But yeah, so, um, so anyway, this is okay. What do you mean, okay? It's gorgeous. It's one of my new designs. <laughs> it's not okay, in it? <laughs> I'm very um, self-critical. Not very confident. This is way out of my comfort zone doing this video. But anyway, have I said anyway a lot? I think I have. Yikes, sorry. So this is Sheepy's Callista and a seed stitch and double crochet and a mixture and there's a hair hanging off it. And yeah, I'm pleased with this. So, and it's grown quite fast actually. Nearly up to the armpits already. Um, yes, that's quite a quick project to do. So I'm, I'm sure I'll finish that one. I went for, oh, how quirky is that? It's not meant to be stuck in there. Um, Sheepies, what's the colour? Oh, they don't have the names on, do they, on here? Shade 248, anyway. I did uh, I did a hat in this. I did my leopard print hat in this colour. It's nice. Um, I love greys. I'm a bit of a grey fanatic. So that's colour 393 and blues as well. Yeah, I love my blues. That one. I think that's five. Have a look. It is five to eight. Yeah. So I'm going with those three colours. So far, so good, I think. So that'll be a jumper when it's finished. So I'll be looking for testers, I think, for that one, if anyone's interested. I, I went out on a, on a limb with my cardigan. I usually get testers for my, uh, testers for my shawls. My nose is freezing, it's cold in here. Um, that sniff's going to sound nice on here, isn't it? <sighs> anyway, I said anyway again. What was I saying? Oh yeah, testers, please. Anyone who's interested in testing for me? Because I went out on a limb with my coastal cardigan and I didn't get it tested and I'm hoping it's okay and I've had no complaints so far. I'll show you this quickly. This is, I was going to make a kind of a patchwork quilted affair. So if you can see the yellow is a star. Yeah. I didn't, do you know last night I decided I didn't like this and I was going to undo it. Now I'm showing you guys and I'm holding it out. It's not that bad. I think it might grow on me. I'm just bored of doing solid squares. I get bored very easily. Um, yeah, it's not that bad actually. I kind of was going to do, yeah, like a quilted. So I'm just doing, just that's all it is really. So I've got the grey, greys again. It's paint box, cotton double crochet. I've got slate grey. I've got a bit of white. I've got the sunflower, I think that colour is. I don't actually know what colour it is because that's some I've had in my stash and I've lost. Well, if you want the honest truth, I made something. I'm going to frog it. Don't like it. So I can't remember what colour. I've written it down somewhere. And then I've got like a mint. And another grey. So yeah, I think they'll go quite nice together, won't they? So I might not undo that actually. I might battle away. I could pick it up, couldn't I, and do a square a night. I know it'll never happen. But I could. You don't have to think when you're doing this, which is quite, uh, when you're doing granny squares. But the problem is, I've got another granny square project that I want to start. 
a blanket again. I love blankets. They take so long, don't they? And because of my unstaying power. Right, I'm trying not to tackle too many blankets, but yeah, I've got an idea for a blanket in Sheepies. Sheepies Katona, which is uh, their cotton again. Love cottons in a double knit. So yeah, we'll see. I'll try and finish it. I shouldn't keep starting projects. Actually, that blanket was my, um, I, 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 I told myself, do not start anything, anything else. You're going to do this blanket from start to finish. It's gone out the window. I only started it two weeks ago and it's gone out the window already. I'll just show you these. This is the last thing I think I want to show you. Yeah, uh, it's just a purchase, really. I love this. Uh, I love this lady, Biff Shuggy Yarns. Anyone seen her? This is not. These aren't affiliate adverts, by the way. It's just I just like sharing things that you know people are find, and she's not paying me to advertise her her yarn. She can send me some freebies if she wants, but <laughs> no, sorry, I'm joking. Um, yeah. So before Christmas, I stumbled upon this lady, and which one did I buy first? Oh, this one. I've undone it actually and considering I've been spinning and um, winding my own yarn I've kind of made a mess of this putting it back together but this is the first one I bought yeah look at that how beautiful is that and it's called Candy Cane she keeps putting them on Instagram and I'm like stop it Superwash Merino 80 10 10 super oh it's got that's it i thought i got the wrong thing here then it's got cashmere in it so it's 80 percent superwash merino 10 percent cashmere who doesn't want cashmere and 10 percent nylon high twist it's fingering yarn <gasps> and it's so soft i'm trying not to hold it on my face because i've got makeup on so soft so i bought that candy that was my first one offer so then i had to have another one didn't i Again, it's the same blend, the cashmere. I like the cashmere. Oh, it's just lush. And that is Cullen. I think she bought that out. Yeah, she must have bought that out last October, like um, an Octoberish thing, Cullen Witchcraft. Yeah, she's bought loads and loads of summer ones out. I keep seeing them and I'm like, pinks. And... <gasps> I'm like, will you stop? Yeah, and then she did a bit of a sale on the other week. Again, look how I've wound that up. Terrible. I've undone this and been playing with it. I've been trying to copy the, the thickness for my spinning. Trying to get my... So I'd cut a little bit off and I'd got, I've got it hanging here on my my um, spinning wheel to try and keep my consistency. But And then I, I fail at putting them back together again. Oh, I'll have to have a play about with that now. I've messed that up, haven't I? So, but look how beautiful it is. I don't know, actually, you can see. Look. <gasps> look at the pinks in it. I'm not usually a pink person, but I'm quite drawn to pinks just lately. And ice cream. I've really got a penchant for ice cream. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm eating my body weight in ice cream. Um, caramel, salty caramel. Oh, God. Anyway, anyway, again. So this is Look Dragon, and then I had to get another one. So I keep, every now and again, I keep ordering one, which is silly really. I should just order them all together because I keep having to pay about £4 postage or £5, I'm not sure, but don't they look cool together? So I want to make a jumper. I want to crochet a jumper. Kind of like a lacy effect which is why i bought my that book i thought i can have a practice and get my shape in and know how to increase because i get a bit lost with laces and it ends up just a mass of holes doesn't do very good at all I'm trying to wind this back up now so i think that's about it i've been babbling on for 44 minutes and i'm not sure whether to edit this or whether to just stick it up and see what you think. It is the first attempt, so please all be kind to me. I've noticed on YouTube, you have this thumbs up and a thumbs down thing. And I'm like, oh my God, what if I get thumbs down? I probably will. Well, I definitely will, I'm sure, with this. I'll have to do this later. I can't wind it up now. Um, yeah, so thumbs up, please. Um, 
I might change my name as well on YouTube. I don't know whether to because people tend to know me as Netmother Bear. Kids call me that, by the way. That's where that came from years ago. Good Luck Charlie. Anyone watch Good Luck Charlie? Um, my daughter, I don't know how old she was, four or five. We used to love Good Luck Charlie. And um, the, mo the mother in it said she used to call herself Mother Bear. And she, she went to the school once. She had a right strop on and she went to the teacher. Mother Bear, just clean your schedule. This always stuck with us. We laughed our heads off, me and Stacey. We used to watch Good Luck Charlie back to back. Bless her. So that's where the mother bear came from. She used to start calling me mother bear and my eldest son, who's 27 now, he, he's always called me mother bear. So that's where that came from. So I tend to, have mother, yeah, just mother bear. But anyway, my hashtag is net is not. So I try and get people to hashtag me as net is not. You know, for on the bottom of my patterns and things, I always put if you wouldn't mind. So anyone who wants to share net is not, that's my hashtag. So I didn't know whether to call my YouTube channel net is not. Or Netmother Bear. Any thoughts? Comment if you, yeah. If I get, if I, I try and take a photograph of my stool as well and try and stick it in the corner, um, flash it up. I've no, I've been watching quite a few YouTube ladies, some really good ones who've inspired me actually to start this. I've thought, you know, they can do it. Why can't I? Yeah, okay, they're far prettier than I am and younger, um, but. I'm, I just thought I'd give it a go. If you don't want to listen, then you haven't got to, have you? You're probably all gone by now. I'm probably sat here talking to myself. So, yeah, and they, they like, they can put captions on the screen. They have this twiddly diddly music at the beginning. So I'm going to try and do all that. So hopefully, but yeah, I'm not, I'm probably not going to edit it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with it. So that's me. Thank you all for listening. And thanks for dropping by, if you're still here. Um, and hopefully see you again. Bye.